Hello everyone, Blaine's Hard here. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day today. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a game that has just recently came to early access over on Steam. I will leave a link down below into the description so you guys can go check this game out for yourself. But I would like to thank the developers over at Pajama Llama Games. They actually sent me the um, early access Steam key. Uh, to me so I could try this game out show it to you guys uh, Thank you guys so much for sending this to me and no they are not paying me to say that or to play this They just thought you know hey you looks like you might like our game here check this out So here we are now first look at this game um, With the graphics I thought it was gonna be more of a childish game But as they actually started playing it I noticed that it's even though the graphics are more cartoonish, it is actually a very fun and a very addicting game. It brings a lot of different aspects from different games and uh, movie genre. The movie uh, reminds me of, oh, I should say, this game reminds me of the movie uh, Waterworld. If any of you guys have ever seen that, you know, it's you're surviving completely on a world of water. Anyway, um, it also kind of reminds me a little bit of The Settlers as well as a few other games and you're just trying to survive this post-apocalyptic world where everything is uh, the wa sea uh, water level has risen and there is pretty much nothing but water there's a few land masses around but anyways it is really enjoyable I did play for a few hours just to try to get used to the game and see how the game works so that way when I show you guys this game I'm not a complete scrub and um, yeah I'm gonna show you the progress what this looks like once the game gets a little further in so this is about four hours into the game and let's hit pause real quick so this is my town i have four hours in it looks like a mess and this all this wood is actually a resource pile so don't don't mind that but as you can see it is pretty interesting and the graphics remind me a lot of borderlands which is actually really really good i'm actually enjoying that um, I, I kind of like the Borderlands graphics, so it's not that bad and everything's really goofy It's not to be taken seriously, but at the same time it is very enjoyable, but also Kind of hard because it is a resource management game. You are trying to survive in The world that is nothing but practically water and I'll get on this in a little bit when we get back to this All right, so as you can see this is what it will look like once you get about four hours in so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna head out and we're gonna start a new game I'm gonna show you guys how this uh, works and we start off and how things uh, progress all right here we go um, so uh, so scrap sure you know why not socks scrap okay so let's hit pause real quick um, I have read all these but I recommend the first time through read the tutorial read this stuff it will be very useful for you and even then even when you it's this game it's easy to learn but hard to master um, it, it, and plus when I started the last time it wasn't quite like this if I remember it almost seems like it's randomly generating the worlds as well and if we look at the map let's see if it's the same Okay, this is relatively the same, but I th have a feeling once you get further on, it's going to randomize. I don't know. I, I, I was only up to about here, as you guys can see. Four hours, I was in here, and who knows how far it goes. I, I don't. All right, so this is our starting of our town. And, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. We have 40 food, 30 water, and no resources. And your four resources up here are wet wood. Uh, dry wood dry wood is used for firewood It's used for construction because here in this Wasteland of the water all the wood is wet you got to dry it out turn it into dry wood So that way it's more sturdy and you can actually use it you have plastic waste Yes, this there's plastic waste plastic waste. is actually a good thing. Yeah Hooray <laughs> All right, but you need this stuff to build like bridges and pretty much have your building sit on them because it, it floats and then you have metal, which is your last resource. And then obviously you have these two resources that are definitely you got to keep your eye on. If any of these probably go out, which I haven't yet, but I've gotten close, your people will die. And then down here we have this little icon. We can send people out to go swimming to get resources for us. So we're going to send one person to go get some plastic. And we're going to send one person out to go get us some wood. Oh, yeah. Just some wood and we can expand 
or shrink the area. Why would you? So I'm going to keep it right about there, just gathering some wood. And the third person, we're going to have them start building as soon as we can. Over here for this icon, we have boats, because eventually at some point you do get boats, which are very useful and needed. And if you're wondering what this icon up is up here, we'll get to that in just a minute. Um, once you get animals, you get like seagulls, you can send them out. They're not as quick to gather resources, but you don't have to send a person to go get it. I had one seagull and they would go out, gather some trash, and they'd come back with it like sometimes on its neck or on its head or or, or they're carrying it with their little web feet. It's, it's, it's funny. It's adorable. It's, it's supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be a fun game. And then we have fishing. We can send uh, fishing boats out. Which, as you can see, there's some fish right there. We'll get to that in just a minute. Over here, we have the research uh, tab. Actually, I didn't know about this until I got the, uh, I think, the third mission. I was like, wow, you really can't do much, can you? And then I realized this was here, and there's actually a lot of stuff. Hopefully, in the future, they add even more stuff in. Or this game allows mod support. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dry mouth. Um, because I have a feeling this game with mod support as well. This could be a very fun game. Um, the one thing that I, uh, tried to get to immediately, um, when I was doing my playthrough, uh, uh, doing my test, you saw those big square, um, five square looking buildings. That's these right here. And these are, uh, they slowly generate small amount of fresh water, which fresh water. Oh my God. It's so hard to keep people hydrated. <laughs> but once I got this, um, I recommend one of these per person. So if you have five people you want, I know they're expensive, as you can see up here, they're kind of expensive with the wood, but it'll keep your people hydrated, and that way all you have to worry about is really food. And then at some point, once you get this, this goes after the deep fish that are way down that you can't see, and I believe this will just keep giving us some more fish, and yeah, so hopefully this works. I don't know, I haven't got to try this yet, um, but yeah, there's that, and then of course we have the world map. And now you might be seeing these and these. All right, so what these mean is you use the wind to push you from here to here. Costs no resources. But to go diagonal up or down, you need to have oil, which you'll get three oil once you get here. All right? And so from there on, you pretty much you kind of kind of ban uh manage your resources, you know, is it worth spending that one oil to go go up there, take a gamble, get something or you know, wait and keep going with the wind. You know what I mean? So it's it's definitely a very good game. I highly recommend checking it out. Then we'll, over here we have our resources. All right, neatness said there. All right, I think we can go on, and we're gonna keep this on at least this speed because if we don't, it will be a while. Oh, I forgot. To, oh, I forgot to actually show you guys this. This is our um ooh, crap. <laughs> um. Actually, before I do anything, I need you to stop. And we need two people over there. We need... No, let's, let's get all three people. We need the... Um, we need plastic. Plastic is needed for this. All right. Um, but here's the building uh, tabs. You have the basic stuff for your town. You have, you know, walkways. Let's pause real quick. We have some small cargo, which eventually you can get to large cargo areas later on. We have a basic house, which is literally a bed floating on the water. <laughs> and then we get a better house, and then I don't know beyond that. Uh, dry and rack, you need these for not only drying wood, but also to dry out fish so you people can eat them. Uh, we have a distillery that's used to distill water, so it takes all the salt out. And then we have your um, mooring point. Ugh, I hope I said that right. Uh, for your boats. And then over here, uh, uh, sails. We'll get to that in just a minute. So now that we have this, we how much we have enough that we can bring this out. Okay, let's do that. And our third person, yeah, our third person is going to swim out there and get started building everything. Um, for this review, I think I'm just going to play for the most part this mission. I shouldn't say mission. Uh, the first uh, area. 
Uh, but if you guys would like to at some point see a full Let's Play series of this game, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, I really enjoy this. Or would you like to see a live stream of this game? Would you just let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a thumbs up down below. Show your support. Subscribe to the channel. All the good stuff. And remember, hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date what is going on with the channel. All right. So next, we're going to need this. Let's get you down. We're going to put you right there. And then we're going to put this right across from it. Yeah. We're going to put you... I'm going to put it there. I want to make sure I can still go out. Okay. Okay. Whoops. No, nope, continue. All right. I just want to make sure I can keep going out. So you got to keep expanding the town. All right. So this little area, I'm going to set this to... Oh, hang on, actually. I'm going to put this to it everything. At least for now. Put that there. Yes, there we go. We're going to want to get to boats as soon as we can. So that means we're going to need... Okay, I see what we need. So we need rope. We need plastic. We need dry wood. Okay, here we go. We're going to need one... No, actually, I keep hitting the wrong button. Okay. Let's actually cut you out. Oh, no. Let's bring one down. Let's get some wood coming in. Yeah, let's, let's get uh, the last two people on that. Oh, crap. Um, none, and this will only allow wet wood. And that will be all but wet wood and dry wood. No dry wood. This will be drying wood. There we go. Can you, can you please remove? Where, where did it go? Yo. Where, yo. Okay. Where, where did the plastic go? I don't know where the plastic... Okay. Well, we still have a little bit more plastic, so we're okay. We only lost four. God, that's actually going to be kind of bad. Um, okay. Uh, so next, we're going to need this. So we're going to need dry wood to do that. Let's build one more drying rack. Like I said, you got to really manage your resources because you are limited. You do not want to run out because it would be a very bad day. Um... But we should be good on dry wood here shortly. Okay, we got dry wood. Sweet. Put that there. That's going to have the dry wood. I'll build this for me real quick. And if they fall asleep, they'll just fall asleep. Uh, pretty much where they're standing. Uh, you, I, right now, I don't really want to get them house, uh, the beds. I'd rather save up to get the house. Okay, none. I want you to be the dry wood, to the wet wood. All right, good. That way we don't, yeah, we're, we're going to be good. Let's uh, speed it up just a little bit. Okay, so it looks like we're not bringing any more plastic, so let's set out another guy out here. And this is the radius in which they can swim, so you are limited. Uh, but once you get a boat, you pretty much can go in the entire map. Boats can go everywhere, which is very, very nice. Sure. Oops. One, two, maximum expanse. Just gather everything, my friend. Okay, go. Let him do that. Uh, let's see here. So, let's have him go out there and start gathering that as well. Okay, we just need a little bit more dry wood, which we I think we just got it. All right, now let's put. Yeah, we'll put this here. And I'll put more uh, drying racks here. That would be good. Or I can always put this over here. Mm, really depends where I'm going to put the distillery.
you know, I could actually put the distillery over here. How much plastic do I need? Okay. Let's see. What's, uh, hang on. Let's put... Let's just have this go out a little more. Make sure we're getting as much as we can for eight. That there. And we're going to put you right there. There we go. Now yeah, everything's coming along. And that will make us some firewood. And then we can get a distillery online. Actually, no. Wait. We need this to get rope so we can get this. Once we get this, we can make some uh, a boat. And he can go out there and start gathering everything. Also, another thing I've noticed uh, when you're on these maps, you don't want to be on each map for a very long time. Eventually, you're going to run out, or it's not going to be worth going to get more resources, and you sh it's better just to move on. Um, so he's going to make us some rope. Which, that would be good. One rope is all we need. Uh, I think we're about to have... Yep, we have all the plastic we need. We're about to have all the wood we need. There we go. So, yeah, we're just now waiting on the rope. It's being exported, so we can make it here in just a moment. We're gonna put this right. Uh, what do we want to? Where do we want to put it? Yeah, I think I'm gonna put it right here. That'd be a good spot, I think. Now, once that's built, the next thing we want to get on, uh, up and running immediately is a salvage boat. Salvage boat definitely needed. And, of course, a distillery, which we are working on. We are almost have enough for this. Which I think a distillery might be the next thing I'd want to make. Yeah. Okay. Put you right here. Probably have a walkway go that way. You gotta kind of plan ahead. You, you can't just play it bit by bit. You definitely gotta plan ahead. Not too bad. It's coming along very nicely. Um, how are we doing? Okay, so that is done. What do we need now for the boat? We're just waiting on plastic now, which this should definitely be enough. Keep smacking away, dude. Just ding, 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 ding. Okay, there we go. Uh, we do not need another one of those. And if anything, we need as much firewood as we can. And then you make as much water as you can. And then we're going to move along just nicely. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I almost just kept going. Uh, what's going to put this here? That's going to hold firewood. So he puts the firewood in there, and all they have to do is just grab it from there, go to there. There we go. Come on, come on. Four more. Four more. That's all, I, that's all I'm asking. Four more. Coming along very nicely. Okay, so none and only firewood. And that's where the firewood will go. Yeah, we're getting plenty of wood, so that's fine. That's good. Very good. There we go. Make sure we have plenty of water. Water is just definitely the biggest thing right now. But once you get, like I said, once you get these things online, yeah, your your water situation is no longer a problem. Just getting there is a trick. Come on, come on. Just need a little bit more plastic. How much? What are you carrying? You. Exactly what I'm needing. There we go. Boat on the way. I 
that's gonna be okay for now. Yeah, we're waiting on people to come get the stuff. Hey, whale! Holy crap! That thing could probably tip over our entire town. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So now let's get up to this. I wanted to explain this a little while ago. So in each map you go to, or at least the ones I've been to so far, they have these salvage sites, uh, like little islands or whatnot that will have um, resources, tech from the old world, um, all types of goodies. You just got to go get them. Now you need the salvage boat to go get it. So the only way to progress onward from this mission or on this map to the next one, we need to get the sail and all these resources. With these resources, minus one metal, we can then build a sail and then move on. And then we have one metal scrap left over, which is very nice. Very, very useful. And instead of carrying only like five things, each boat can carry 10 and they're twice as fast, which is definitely gonna be useful. Definitely gonna be useful. All right, let's get some more firewood. Uh, let's uh, say no to there and no to there. Priority here for firewood. Please and thank you. And you keep making me more water. All right, now we have a boat. And so that means we can cancel these. We do no longer need those. Send the, the swimmers back. And we now can send these guys out. Um, and right now, I think I'm going to send him out to salvage this. So we can get that online. And then, technically, at this point, you could just grab this and go. If you really, really wanted to. You do not have to. Oops. Let's plan on cancel those out. No, don't, don't exit. Um, yeah, it's just that. So you could just end it there, go on to the next one, which would be this map right here, which you get five more, uh, no, sorry, two more people and then some research, which is really good. Um, yeah, I highly recommend getting those water things online as fast as possible, because as you see, fish we're not going by so fast with, or I should say food, but water is definitely the big, the big kicker right now. And looks like he is done. He's on his way back. He took down the sails and everything with it. There's a lot more resources. Why can't I just take apart the entire buildings and all that? You would think you could, right? Nope. <clears throat> oh, well. But everything's coming along very nicely. Let's get some more firewood. That's the one thing we can never, ever stop using until we get those water collectors. I didn't pay attention very much when I was doing my first playthrough, testing out the game. Yeah, that was a big, big mistake. Then we're also going to get one rope online. That will be useful as well. And since now we have a boat, we'll send this guy out to collect us some scrap. Yeah. Just go get all the plastic. We're going to need lots and lots of plastic. All right, now we have all this, which we'll get to it in just a moment. I want to get it in a... I keep hitting... <laughs> I keep hitting the escape button. Don't do that. Um, yeah. Let's, let's uh, not do that. All right. We should have enough plastic once he delivers all this. I'm going so fast, it looks like this thing's wigging out. So he just goes up and down. Yeah, that's, that's a little fast. All right, we do need one more of these, which fits just perfectly, which is what we're going to need. Let's turn around. Um, <clears throat> let's wait until he gets back with another load, and then we'll put down 16. Okay, so now that we have 16, be careful with the waves. There we go. We'll put the sail over there. And now, oops, uh, I want to build a fishing ship before we leave here. That is key. We need that. <clears throat> All right. 
Come on, come on, guys. Faster, faster. Just need a little bit more plastic. All right, he's going to get the, the rest that we need. All right, fishing boat online. Well, shortly. There we go. And if you actually slow it down, when they're walking around, they look so jolly. It's it's the apocalypse, and they, they really don't care. Look at them. da dee da dee da dee da It's the apocalypse. Yay! da dee da dee da dee da You would think they'd be a little more freaked out, but nope. Let's get this online. We'll put this right here. And then it allows us to have more room to expand. And then I want to set up more cargo. And these are going to be for fish. Uh, you're a nun. You'll take fish. You start drying out fish. None of you be fish. All right. Uh, I think we're going to need another tanning rack. Yep. Or drying rack, I should say. Come on. there so that way we have two for wood two for fish and then that would be good <clears throat> this is i think an ideal good setup for the rest you know it'll get you started oh uh what's uh no 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 oh, don't tell me i just wasted all that yes i did crap crap we need to keep water going. All right, and this you will be for fish. Be for fish. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So everything's looking good now. So at this point, you could just leave and go to the next one. Um, but I would, you know, stick around, go get some more resources. And speaking of resources, let's go get some fish. We're definitely going to need some fish because later on at some point, some of the maps, there is no fish. No food. So it's a very bad thing. All right, send the boat out soon, hopefully. This is why it's always going to get more people, but at the same time, more people, which means you need to have more resources and you need to feed them more. It just becomes a pain. <laughs> uh, people are so needy. Mm, say let's put one more whatever we want throw in there except fish like this will be a general whatever we're overflowing in just throw it in there we have more water coming in sweet so we're doing good on water we're doing good comes to fish and if you look they have their mouths open like they're afraid like they're, they've been petrified with fear okay here comes the fish come on buddy okay what's that say you can put wet fish in there but none of that none of that definitely not that yeah that should be good general purpose little pit stop out of firewood goody so now these guys are gonna dry out and they go from when they're done they'll turn yellow ish color which is good Let's turn that off oh uh, what was that one yeah there sure i guess you'd be general purpose as well there's no firewood Firewood over here. 
All right, we're doing relatively all right, I think. Yep, they're gonna put the fish on there, take the other ones off, and stick them in the piles. Now, we're doing pretty good, we're in a good spot. So this would be a good ideal time, if you wanted to, leave. Or you can stick around and gather up the rest of these resources. Um, that's why sometimes it's four hours and I was only so far in the game because I was trying to gather all the resources that I could. Um, but just for the sake of this review, I'm going to go on to the next one and show you guys the next place. So now with the sale, we can move on. Um, and if I ever do a full let's play of this or a live stream, I will get all the resources. I'm not going to leave anything behind. This is just for demonstration purposes. All right. So up here, we do have a couple of people ready to be liberated. Yes. So go liberate them. Go get them. And then on the other place, we have a uh, questionable thing. Like it doesn't tell you what's there for scal uh, salvage, but it does have research, which is... Shack Town, which is right there. Mm, yep. Interesting. Let's, uh, well, looks like he already got them. He's on his way back. Got him. So used to play this game on slow. <laughs> Either on here or on here is the speeds I play as. Um, so we have people now. Let's send people out to go fishing. There is no fish. Uh-oh. Uh, I believe this is one of those mats that there's going to be no fish. See, I probably really should have stayed and got more fish. Crap. This is what I'm saying. is It gets hard. It, it's randomized. I'm Because the last time I played on this map, there was like two of them right here. Spawning each other. There's 50 fish. But now there is no fish. <laughs> um... Yeah, okay. Well, I think that is a good look at this game. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this game. Um, I highly recommend uh, going over and checking it out for yourself. Actually, I will do a... Uh, I'll, I'll make a little save. Come on. Oops, I forgot that. <laughs> Test game two. Um, but yeah, it, it's a very great, fun little game, and I absolutely enjoy it. Um... Especially late at night when I'm rendering out videos, I'll just pop this on and go play it for a bit and just relax um, and whatnot. So I highly recommend checking out this game. Or, at the, or if you don't have enough, wait because Christmas is right around the corner. So who knows? It might go on sale. Maybe not. Don't know. Who knows? But right now it's $25 US dollars over on Steam. So it's not bad. It's not really expensive. But it does definitely have a lot of replayability, which I do love about games nowadays, especially games um, you can just you play over and over and it's never the same. Because why pay $60 for a game that you play once and you're done? I'd rather play a game that I'm going to, if I'm going to pay 60 bucks, I better get multiple, multiple replays out of that. Tell me I'm not the only one out there. All right, again, thank you the devs over at Pajama Llama Games for sending me a copy of this game. Thank you so much. It is an amazing game. I can't wait to see where this game goes. Um, it definitely has a lot of potential, and again, just can't wait to see where it goes. Hope you guys enjoyed this game, and uh, if you are interested in it, uh, let me know in the comments section down below. Uh, maybe we'll do a live stream of it sometime. Who knows? Possibilities are endless. Uh, so till next time, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh, wait, before I forget, um, if you guys have not already, head on over to my Discord over there. You guys can talk with me, hang out with me, and talk to other YouTubers and gamers. It's loads of fun. We do have gaming days. Um, also, if you want to follow the channel and keep up to date on what is going on with the channel, I keep everybody up to date, not only on my Discord, but over on Twitter as well. So if you want to follow the channel, uh, check those out. Links will be in the description down below. Um, also, I'd like to take a minute to say thank you for my de uh, for some developers, for, to my Patreons for going the little extra mile to help support the channel, keep the channel going. Thank you guys so much. It means a lot to me. Thank you going the extra mile. You guys are awesome. Till next time, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have an awesome day.